In this video, we're going to look at a cool implementation of two GPT agents solving programming tasks for you. This is a vanilla OpenAI implementation. Only requirements for this is OpenAI and term color. Let's just run this and see how it works. Let's ask for a write a Python script, which is a note taking app. And then this is a multi line input, so we do have to say done at the end. And we have two assistants. One is creative assistant and the other one is the traditional assistant. The prompts are that creative assistant is more innovative and sorry, innovative. And it tries to add new and exciting features. Traditional program is more professional, critical. Anyway, once the creative, we start the conversation with a task and the creative assistant after write some stuff and then after creative assistant then the traditional assistant takes over. So there's some pretty cool features to this. For example, at the end of the, once the response is generated, it's written into a conversation.md file, so you can take a look. We also have a third agent, which actually checks the last two messages to see if both agents have reached a conclusive, conclu conclusion, if the conversation has ended. Because sometimes the two agents can keep thanking each other or asking each other for what do you need or something like that. So to eliminate that, I created a reach conclusion call in a function which tries to actually check and make sure that if the solution is reached or not. The first agent wrote quite a lot of code and then second one takes over, says that the loop code looks functional. However, there are some improvements that can be made, so it's going to suggest some improvements. Yeah, let's see what it does. While it's doing that, I just want to mention we are taking multi-line user input. This is how you do it, actually. This is pretty cool. And you use term color like this. Whenever you want to print something with term color in a colored fashion, print, then term color dot colored, slash on to make a space available in the terminal, in a new line. And then you just type in whatever you like, and then the color like this. And you accept multi-line input like that. The done is so that we can escape the multi-line input so that the rest of the code can continue. I just want to mention a Echo Hive AI Academy. You can visit it at echohive.live, from which you can search all my YouTube videos, 130 plus free AI coding videos. You can search and find exactly what you need if you're searching for GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. It's an instant search and you can actually find the right content, read the descriptions along with the code download links to Patreon. Feel free to use it. It's echohive.live. Okay, we're still continuing. We actually checked one time. If conclusion has been reached, it said no. Creative Assistant actually goes on to correct some of its conclusions. So it's still ongoing. By the way, we are using streaming responses. I also want to mention this code will be available for my Patreon supporters. The link will be in the description. To get streaming responses, you have to send, uh, set the stream parameter to true for the completion call. And after that, we create an empty string called responses. And then we are receiving the response, right? And then we loop through all, each chunk, which is each token. We make sure that role is not present. And then we look for content because we don't want the role. We want the tokens. And we check for content. If content is present, then we extract the R text out of that content. And we append it to responses and then we print it. And you have to follow this logic with the flush through so that the terminal prints it one by one. And, and doesn't actually add uh, each token to a new line so that it looks nice and smooth. Okay, they're still ongoing. Actually, they kind of, they ended the code part, but they are still continuing, you know, saying it's a pleasure and whatnot. That's why I actually put the checking if conclusion has been reached. But it keeps saying no. Well, let it go for a little bit. You can break out of it with Control-C. The beautiful thing about streaming uh, responses is that you can actually break out of it at any moment. And I have, oh, and I did use the reach conclusion as, has the assistance agreed and reached the conclusion? You really keep saying no. 
in my mind they have anyway so this actually works sometimes but in this case it didn't uh, let's give it one more chance also i just want to tell you that the conversation md has the entire code in it as you see which is written actually it has all the exchanges that have taken place so this is pretty cool so this script will actually write the entire conversation to conversation.md so that you can clearly see the code chunks out of it anyway they keep going so i'm just going to break out of it with Control c like i said with streaming responses you can break out anytime you like let's just pick one of it and see if this actually works just gonna quickly make it t.py as in test put this we don't have our imports okay i actually did copy the first one which actually had the imports and i pasted it here in the t.py file and when you run it i actually ran this before you do need to have a nodes directory okay and after that you run it and it asks well what do you want to do welcome to node app let's create a new node this is node title is echo what do we want to say member to code today and then it says over here that when you're creating if you look at the create node function it says uh, end with a single period on a line so i'm just going to do that and then press enter and oh we're on a new line okay there we go and it's created as you see my node is created click select another option let's say view note let's say three enter note title echo look at that so this is a whole app it's pretty cool let's try it to list notes this is awesome it actually worked they actually got it right the first time because this is the first it's the first code that is present in the history but it's worth probably taking a look at the rest of it as you just have to sift through it because it might not be the full code and but so this works and you can actually change this to whatever you like to your own benefit let's just look at the code real quick so we are doing our necessary imports checking for our open ai api key we set the is sold to false until of course we check and if we reach the conclusion we set this to true okay anyway we set the system message for both creative and a traditional programming assistant we initiate the user input with empty string because we are going to take in multi-line input we talked about this so this is how we do it we give the first age assistant user input which is whatever we have given the second one is empty then we have a get gpt response which takes in a prompt system message messages and a temperature and then we append to the messages the original prompt which is going to happen when we call this we get a response this time we use gpt 3.5 turbo you can use gpt4 as well and then we say system message is the system message okay and we create the for loop for streaming responses and then we return responses in the prompt here's the format conversation this one actually loops through the conversation and looks for either a python triple backticks python or just triple backticks because this is how usually gpt returns the code blocks in and if you find it, then we actually format this text because then it's a code and segments in the code. And then after that, we format it and we return the formatted text. Reach conclusion takes a look at the last two messages in the conversation and creates the same chat messages out of that. And we make another call with this prompt and with the chat messages. This is again streaming. And we check if there is yes in the response because we are saying only yes or no answers are valid okay if it is yes then we set we return true and in the main loop right okay so we return true here this function will return true so we initiate the messages for each assistant conversation also we keep keeping track of the conversation separately and we append to the conversation the original message for gpta which is what we have inputted that's the user input right like right here okay anyway then we say while not is solved so as long as the problem is not solved then we say we print with term color creative assistant responding then we get a response with the gpta prompt we get a response for gptb get gpt response we 
give it which GPT we're using, which assistant, the assistant system message and a message that needs to go in, which is the GPTA's message. And we set the creative one's temperature to one. And then we get a message. We append it to the GPTA's messages and also the entire conversation. So this is cool because we are appending to GPTA as the assistant message because to GPTA, GPTB is the assistant. Okay. And to GPTP, GPTA is the assistant. So their conversation is very separately kept track in a vice versa fashion. Anyway, we do the same thing for the traditional assistant. Traditional assistant set the temperature zero and we do the same thing. We, and now we open the conversation.md and then we check for errors, of course, and form, we use the format conversation here and get the formatted conversation and then we write it so that we actually get a really nice, instead of text file, we get a .md file so, it, so that it's more clear, you can see what's happening. After that, we say check in if conclusion is reached. We check if a conclusion has been reached. If so, we set the is to true so that we can break out of this loop. Otherwise, we say conversation has reached the conclusion. Okay, you can also print the conversation at the end if you uncomment this. You can also maybe keep a counter and like counter equals zero. And then you can actually increment this counter plus one and at the end, you can say if counter, right? Let's say here, if counter is more than 10, then we break. Just in case, if just like it happened in this video, if the reach conclusion cannot say yes, then we can actually manually break out of it like that. So, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much. I just want to mention the Echo Hive AI Academy. You can go to it at echohive.live. This is all my videos that I have made. You can actually search over them, look at the descriptions and watch them. Again, it's echohive.live. Thank you for watching and see you in the next.